Welcome back to your review videos for your Semester 1 Algebra 1 Final. Just as a reminder, this problem number over here might not match the problem on your review sheet just because I reuse these videos from year to year. Um, but either way, you'll probably have a problem that looks like this, so let's get to it. Uh, this is again solving equations. Our first step in solving equations is almost always looking for a distributive property. Um, and our distributive property is usually shown with parentheses. So I'm going to take this point 2 and actually distribute or multiply it in, we get 34.8x plus 0.2x minus 0.8 equals negative 16.8 plus 27x. After distributive property, maybe I should keep this separate, we want to look to combine like terms. When you combine like terms, we're only looking on each side of the equal sign separately. So we look over here and we should notice there are three terms. Two of them are like each other. We're going to combine those together. Those are, of course, our 34.8x, and we're adding 0.2 more x's on. When we combine those together, that gives us a very nice 35x minus 0.8 equal to negative 16.8 plus 27x. At this point, I don't see any more distributive property, and we can't combine like terms on each side. So now we have to move to our properties of equations, and we see those using SADMEP. And SADMEP is just the idea that, much like PEMDAS, if SADMEP, forgot the D, um, if we add something to one side, we need to do that same thing to the other side, and usually we try to add or subtract first. Now there's actually four different terms here, and we can add or subtract any of those. However, I'm going to deal with the decimals first because I think that'll make life a little bit easier. So maybe I'll go ahead and undo the subtracting 0.8 by adding 0.8 to both sides. And when you do this, you're really, want to, you're really going to want to be careful and maybe check this with your calculator. Um, negative 16.8 plus 0.8 actually brings us to the larger negative 16 plus 27x. We still have more addition and subtraction in here, and anytime you do that, we want to keep adding and subtracting, really until you get all the x's to one side and everything without an x to the other. I'm going to suggest that we subtract 27x from both sides, and when we do that, I think that will end us up with 8x equal to negative 16. Now notice we have all the x's on one side, everything without an x to the other. There's actually no more addition or subtraction that's attaching anything to x. In fact, there's just an 8 that's multiplying, so we can undo that by dividing by 8, and we end up with x equals negative 2. Right? Um, in terms of guess and check, it's, I mean, if it's multiple choice, right, we could, of course, take every single one of these numbers, plug them in for every single one of the x's, and then on your calculator, you'd have to do the math on the left side. Remember your answer. You'll get some answer here. Do the math on the right side. You'll get another answer. And if those two answers match, then our x is a solution. If they don't match, then x is not a solution. And because you have enough time, you should have enough time on your test, it's really important to actually take this negative 2 and plug it back in here and make sure you actually do get the right answer, right? So on your calculator, what you're going to want to do to check your work, and this is really a second way to get an answer, we're going to have to do 34.8, right, times negative 2 that we just got plus 0.2 times negative 2 minus 4, and that's going to give us some answer. Then we have to do the other side of the equation, negative 16.8 plus 27 times negative 2. That will give us another answer, and ooh, I hope those answers match, right? Check them. They will end up matching each other, and that's how we know negative 2 is our answer. 